reverse trike, bike plus left side car or right side car, and last one's a quad bike. Yeah. So uh, depending on the um, the uh, types of um, uh, bike that you have, uh, choose the right one. And uh, the default Fobo bike set comes with two sensors. Uh, and if you have a trike or you have a, a quad bike, you need to purchase additional sensors from the uh, web store, from the Fobo web store. Okay, so today I'm here to install a set on a uh, bike I have right in front of me here. So I'll choose a, a, a bike on the app, click on confirm. Okay. So it will prompt me to, to fill up some details of my bike. So what I'll do is I'll just key in the name of my bike, I'll just call it my bike. I'll take a photo of the bike. Photo here. Okay, all right. Use the photo. Um, here you can change the uh, different pressure units, uh, KPA, PSI, or bar. The temperature can choose from degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. And now it's important that you key in your recommended pressure for your bike. For this bike I have in front of me, uh, I'll choose the recommended pressure as 160. And if you now observe that as I choose the recommended pressure, I scroll through the wheel here, the min and max is defined by itself automatically. So the recommended I put in here is 160 for my bike, the min is 145, and the max is 200 kPa. So for advanced user, you can actually manually adjust your min and max over here. Yeah, But in this case, I'll just leave it as a default. Yeah, um, Done. I have to key in the same thing for the rear tire. I'll move the recommended to 160. On my bike, yeah. And click on done. So now I've keyed in the uh, picture of my bike, name of my bike, the units I like to read, uh, and the recommended pressure that uh, is suitable for my bike here. So I click on done on the uh, top right corner, and here they will actually prompt you to install the real um, uh, tire sensor. So on the box here, as you see, there's two sensors. So I'll just pick any of the sensors, it doesn't matter, there's no marking on the sensors, so they're universal. So um, what I'll do is, I need to screw on this sensor now to the tire. As you remember, in my introduction, I strongly state that do not screw in the sensors to the bike until the app prompts you to do so. So the right way is, you only screw in the sensors when the app prompts you to do so. Hold the phone right next to the sensor, Click on OK, and it'll start pairing now. All right, done. So the uh, the real sensors has been paired, and the app is now prompting us to install the front tire sensor. So I'll pick the other sensor from the box. I'll install it on the front tire. Screw it on. Hold the phone very close to the sensors click on OK we'll start pairing now done so the installation process, installation is, done. process is done um, my bike is shown in the main screen tap on the screen and you can actually read the front pressure of the bike now is 162 and the real pressure of the bike now is 157 okay so now I'll guide you through to uninstall the set so in order to uninstall the set, click on the setting screen on the top right corner. It says release bike sensor. Tap on it and the instruction will say that to release the sensor, you need to do a long press on the sensors that you want to release. So what I'll do is I'll release the, um, the front sensor first. So I'll hold five seconds on the, the box. Yeah, it says release sensor. So what I need to do now is I need to go to the physical sensors to remove it from the tire valve, wait for eight seconds, screw it back on the tire valve, and click OK. So this is the front tire I have here. So what I'll do is I'll remove the sensors from the tire valve, completely remove it, wait for eight seconds. All right. Then I'll screw the sensors back to the tire valve. Now I need to hold my phone very close to the, the sensors. Click on OK. 
and it's releasing the um, the, the front tire sensors now. All right, done. So the front tire sensors release now. As you see in the um, in the app here, it says release on the front tire, and now I want to proceed to remove the rear sensors. So the same procedure. Tap on the setting screen, release a bike sensor. It will tell you to to tap on the box or the sensors that you want to release for five seconds. Hold on the rear sensors now, the box. Yeah, and the message will prompt. So do not click OK. Follow the instruction on the screen and say that remove the sensors from the tire valve. Wait for eight seconds, reinstall it, screw it back onto the tire valve, and then only click OK. So now we go to the rear tire. So now I'm at the rear tire of the bike, right here. So I'll remove the sensors from the tire valve. Now wait for eight seconds. Oops, dropped it. So wait for eight seconds. Yeah, and after eight seconds, screw it back onto the tire valve. Hold your phone very close to the sensor, tap on OK, so you see instruction that says release uh, completed, click on OK and you see the, the screen on the app here that says both sensors are being released but however your bike is still here yeah. and to remove this bike completely from your screen you actually need to do a swap from uh, left to right, oh sorry from right to left click on the delete word and there's a warning that says that all your data will be erased click on OK now you, you have completely removed the bike however please note that you are not able to completely remove the bike if you have not released both sensor both sensors must be released together in order for you to delete the bike if any one of the sensors are still active yeah, or disabled yeah, you won't, you're not able to release or to completely delete the bike off the app over here.